Hello, Anthony Lamb from the Cisco Wireless TAC team. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how you can leverage WLAN Polo to assist you in pre-downloading a new image onto your AP and prepare them to be migrated. What are the prerequisites that we need before we can start using WLAN Polo? First, we need an AP that is connected to a WLC and has SSH enabled, a machine that has WLAN Polo, a machine that can be used as a TFTP server, and the targeted image for the APs. This can be found at software.cisco.com. In this example, I'll be using a Windows PC that has WLAN Polar and TFTP D64 installed with a targeted image of 17.3.7. .7. What is the problem we are trying to solve by using WLAN Polar? To minimize downtime during an upgrade, the network administrator typically relies on AP pre-download. This feature allows the AP to download the new code while still serving clients. This means that when the WLC reboots on the new code, the AP reboots only once in order to boot that new code. Without AP pre-download, APs will have to wait for the WLC to come back online with the new code in order to try to join it, and then only realizing that they need to download a new code. Downloading it all at the same time and then rebooting, and then trying to join it back once again. AP pre-download, on top of reducing client downtime, is also helpful for situations where you have remote sites which have slow WAN connections, meaning that it will take a long time to download the new code for these APs. The download can happen while the APs are still client-serving when using AP pre-download. However, the problem in this case of a migration is that you are dealing with two separate controllers, one running AirOS, one running Cisco IOS XE, and there is no embedded means to use AP pre-download in this situation for the APs to pre-download a code from another controller. The solution lies in programmability and automation. In this video, I will explain how we can use WLAN Polar to pre-download the iOS XE 17.3.7 AP image to multiple APs in your network automatically without needing to touch every AP in a manual way. After the AP image pre-download has been completed, the APs can then download 17.9 from the WLC using the normal process. An important reminder, the Catalyst 9800 running on version 17.9 requires an upgrade path through 17.3.7. .7. If you are coming from an earlier version or if you are coming from AirOS software version of 8.x, it is not possible to have a smooth transition between an AirOS 8.5 to an iOS XE version 17.9. If an AP downloads the 17.9 code while running a version earlier than 17.3.5, 17.3.6, or 17.3.7, .7, it will complain about not having enough space to install the 17.9 image and thus failing. What version to download? The easiest way to download the AP bundle file containing all AP images for a given version is to go to software.cisco.com and download the 9120 embedded wireless controller file for the release of your choice. In this case, I will download the 17.3.7. .7. Then extract the zip file and you should see all the CAFWAP AP images for each AP models. Configuring WLAN Polar. After extracting the zip file, there are a few files that we first must edit. Firstly, config.ini. There are a few variables that we first must configure. WLC type. This will depend on what WLC we are running. 1 means AirOS and 2 meaning iOS XE. Here we must configure the WLC username, password and ESIC password. Similarly, we also must configure the AP username, password and ESIC password. How to select which APs will be affected. There are multiple options such as AP name filter, AP location, AP list.csv and AP list within the config ini file. In this demonstration, I will use AP list.csv, which will only target APs that I have added into the AP list.csv. Now, open AP list.csv, and from here, you will be able to add in the IP addresses of the APs you want to target. If you SSH into your WLC and run show AP summary, you can easily find the IP addresses of the APs which you want to target. Now, enter them into the CSV file and save. Now we can edit the CMD list. Enter the command as you see on screen. The AP image will vary based on the model number of your AP. Now open up command prompt and CD into the folder path and run wlampolar.exe. Here we can see if the script was able to SSH into the APs and successfully run the command. After we have checked the APs have finished pre-downloading, we can now migrate the APs over to the Catalyst 9800. We can now change the commands in the cmd list.txt files to force the APs to move to the other controller. The command is capwap ap primary hyphen base hostname of the 9800 and then the IP address. 
the APs will now send a request to the new primary controller. If it receives a response back, it will now try to join it. Now we can log into the new primary 9800 WLC and run a show AP summary. We should now see both the APs joined to this controller. And if we run a show AP image, we can see that this has the new image and the backup of the old ROS controller. Thank you for watching.